Good afternoon, Scorpios. And I like to just extend my happy birthday um, wishes to you all. And I hope that you're enjoying yourselves. So, ladies, what I like to do is to go on and just give you your year in um, fertility adoption reading here, as you've seen I've been doing with the other signs. Okay? I've decided to go on and use my Lenormas deck here. In addition to using a few additional oracle cards that could give you a bit more part and advice into your situation. Okay, so basically I'm going to cover, you know, basically what you've already, may have already experienced and where you are now and what you um, could potentially expect. Okay, and as always, if you've yet to subscribe to my channel, please take a few moments to do so now. And if this reading resonates, please give it a big thumbs up and uh, share it with others. And I certainly look forward to you know, ladies, hearing your comments here. Okay, so let's start off with me just making a few general observations with the cards presented here, okay? I am seeing some type of a birth announcement that seems to have come across for you guys, or soon will. You know, I'm also seeing, you know, it made you feel very happy here, or it will make you feel happy. I'm also getting a sense that I'm seeing a very aggressive or very or overactive type child, and this is going to be a very karmic type child, very spiritual and gifted, okay? I'm feeling that some of you ladies seem to be having a lot of problems here that I'm kind of getting here by looking at your card layout. You may be having some problems with abandonment issues, or you may be still suffering from the pains of whatever you've experienced that, that you felt that was harmful to you during your childhood here. I'm also seeing, too, for those of you who are contemplating adoption, I'm seeing some type of an adoption or a small contract being drawn up, okay? I'm also getting a sense, too, that this might be a difficult start either with the child that you bring into this world or it's just going to be somewhat of a difficult new beginning for you that I'm kind of getting. Okay, so let's get started and start off with the card and the energy that seems to be pervading you from now uh, until the end of this year here. We have the, the coffin um, symbol there, okay? So this card is all about, ladies, depression and dis discouragement, you know? It's all about death, you know, loss, you know, something shocking that you may experience or something painful. All about going through a sense of transformation here. Okay, so I'm kind of getting here that some of you might even be emerging from a crisis, I'm seeing, to something new. And I feel that fear might be preventing you from kind of make moving forward. And you might be too attached to the past here with this card. I kind of feel that some of you might even feel that there's some type of a black cloud that's kind of hanging over you, you know, and there are still big hurdles for you to conquer in order to kind of uh, realize your dream here, okay? But this card is kind of asking you to remain positive, you know? Because I'm getting a sense that many of you are feeling a bit drained or you will be feeling a bit drained about your situation. So for some of you, either you already experienced a loss or you're kind of contemplating um, one, or it is quite plausible that you will or may have you know, as I said, lost a child while in your womb or near, I'm feeling near the last trimester, okay, that I'm kind of getting here with that car. So let's start off here with just seeing here, just looking at things that you may have already experienced or may be in fact in the process of experiencing here. We have the letter, okay? So this letter represents some type of an ovulatory type chart or ovulations chart. It tells me that you've been kind of taking notes or keeping track of your progress. And it also kind of, you know, points out, you know, referrals and tests and x-rays and things that you may have had to undergo in order to assist you with your, uh, with your fertility issue here. And it may in fact be with this woman that's sitting next close to you. It could either represent you or could represent you know, a female a friend of yours, or even potentially a, even a midwife that some of you may have been contemplating, okay? But when you look at this car here, the whip that sits next there, that shows that many of you may have been really trying, trying too desperately hard to kind of conceive here, 
you know? And I'm seeing that many of you may have also been suffering from chronic pains and ailments and might even consider, you know, kind of, you know, pursuing some type of a, a, another exercise regime. I see you, you know, maybe, you know, having good exercise here, but I'm seeing a lot of emotional type discussions here with this card. But despite your challenges, ladies, you have this key card that sits right next there. And the key gives you, ladies, the power to kind of open the door. It's more like the whoosh card that you see there in tarot. So it shows that despite the problems that you may have been having, you know, it looks like that some of you may have even pursue, have been pursuing some type of fertility or hormonal, you know, type treatment here, you know. And I think that you, in fact, with this child sitting next to it, you're still really desiring to have this, have this child. And this card is kind of suggesting to you that you may want to pay a bit more attention to your health. And if, if I see a child, I'm kind of seeing a child that you're kind of having here, but it looks like it's going to be, I don't think it's going to be a natural birth. I think it's going to be more of a C-section because this card also represents some type of a, you know, a keyhole type surgery, if you will. Okay. And then, of course, you have that child. So we already know what that refers to. So let's go on and look at the rest of your cards here just to get more of a glimpse of what, you know, you are to expect there. Okay. And it shows here that I get, perhaps with, you know, taking various type of medications, you see that now there's a new path that you can follow there with that, that star card. You know, it shows that you have great hope and desire to conceive and you're believing some of you might even be recovering or healing, okay? And with the card here, the garden card, it shows that many of you still kind of desire a natural birth. And I think that for some of you, there is a possibility that you may, some of you may have a natural birth and some of you may have to have a key, like a C-section type birth. But I'm kind of seeing here that you're networking with others or you might even be meeting with other you know, couples to discuss, you know, what they may have been experiencing. You could be doing this on social media, you know, okay? And with having this cross card there, that shows some type of transition that is going to occur during the last trimester here. And this card, unfortunately, represents some type of misfortune, okay? It's, I see that it's going to be some more tests or trials ahead for you guys. And I'm seeing that you maybe suffer also, you know, lower back type problems here and have with having this car sitting next there, uh, you might even be put on bed rest before you deliver this child. But I see that you're going to certainly, in fact, bond with this child in the future. So you have a very positive outcome here with this ring card because it shows that you're bonding. And as well for those of you who want to adopt, it shows that you're going to be able to, to, to get what you um, kind of after there, but it's going to come with some struggle, okay? I'm also seeing, too, that, you know, with this group support and therapy and, and things that you guys may be participating, and it's going to kind of help you guys as well, okay? So let's get into these other cards here. You have that midnight card here, and that kind of kind of shows, guys, that maybe you're just sitting up extremely too night too late worrying about your problems and know that you have all of the power within yourself to kind of you know get uh, to the uh, manifest what you will want in your life here and then you have the tarot guidance here and, and each of you should probably already know what this means it's telling you guys to rely on your intuition for insight and to follow the messages that you receive here because it never points you into the wrong direction here um, ladies, okay? And then you also, you have a very interesting card here. You have um, this um, serenity caldron there. And so that card is kind of telling you is that, you know, that you've kind of been, you know, been kind of waiting around aimlessly. And, and it seems that you have been um, contemplating very good ideas and things that you might need to do to kind of move your fertility forward and you just haven't acted upon those. So this card is kind of telling you to just go on and just start, you know, putting those good ideas, ladies and gentlemen, really put those things into good practice and into good use and to really, again, I would have to tell you to rely heavily on your intuition. You also, ladies, you have the hag here. And usually this card represents a very ugly 
type creature. But, you know, some hags, you know, in the past have not always looked this, you know, um, kind of vicious here. You know, some hags have also been depicted as um, fairies, you know, at times. So this card is kind of asking you to to know that, you know, as you kind of get older, you really learn, you know, if you knew better, you would do better, right? So this card is kind of letting you know that it's all about transformation, okay? And it's telling you that you've been feeling some type of a necessary change that's needed for your life, and you just haven't taken the steps to do so. This is telling you to, to really welcome the new you. And when you do that, I understand that prosperity certainly lies ahead here with this new moon and Taurus card here, as well as, ladies and gentlemen, you can certainly, another positive card, expect powerful changes, okay? So, ladies, this is what I have for you. I certainly hope that this reading has offered food for thought. Once again, happy birthday. I look forward to hearing your comments. And be sure to send me a comment, okay? And if you need a more personal reading, you can contact me at WAT. 61073 at gmail.com. Enjoy your day.